What we're looking at behind me here going up this tree is a vine called bittersweet. It's an invasive, non-native species of vine that is very damaging to trees in a number of ways. First of all, it's a very aggressive grower and grows to the top of the canopy and ends up actually enveloping the entire tree. In addition, the vine itself gets really large, puts a lot of weight on the tree and can cause the tree to fail. And thirdly, it grows around the trunk of the tree and will actually end up strangling the tree to death. So bittersweet is a very serious vine that should be removed whenever possible. Another invasive vine that we encounter sometime is called the prickly cucumber. And looking at its seed pod, it's easy to see where it gets that name. Again, this is another non-native species vine that can entirely take over an area if left to its own devices. This one isn't doing particularly well because of the dense shade, but in higher light situations, it is a very problematic vine. The best treatment for a vine such as this, if, you're, if you want to control it, is first, and probably the best practice, is try to control it when it's small like this. Secondly, is to have mechanically remove it, actually have somebody peel it off the tree. And then after that, perhaps stump treat the vine itself with a uh, systemic herbicide so that it doesn't grow back again. Not all things vines are necessarily bad. I'm standing next to a white pine tree that has woodbine growing on it, or as some people might call it, Virginia creeper. This being a native species, it's considered very desirable. Some of the other vines that we looked at earlier were non-native species or invasive species. This particular one, as I just said, is a native species. And one of the reasons why we don't mind this one growing on trees is, first of all, it doesn't grow up into the canopy where it can actually choke off the uh, leaves that are on the tree. Also, it has a very open growth habit. So it doesn't hide any defects that you might have on the trunk like some other more aggressive vines might do. Also, this one has very nice fall color. The color right now is a light red, and as we get deeper into the fall season, that will turn a very vibrant red color and blends in very well with our New England landscape.